Hello, my lovelies. Long time no see. So, um, a lot's been going on, and I'm actually really excited. I got a place. Uh, I move in next month. It's actually not ready yet. They have a few more things that they have to do, and everything like that. So, I'm really excited. Uh, <clears throat> and I also, I'm just going to rest that right there, uh, made a decision yesterday, last night, or, well, mid midday yesterday. This is something that I've actually been thinking about for a really long time. I mean, a really, really, really long time. Um, I never really mentioned it because I really didn't want to say, oh, yeah, I'm doing this, and then, you know, even six days down the line, come back and be like, yeah, I failed. Um, I've decided that I'm going to be vegan, but I need to start off with being vegetarian first, um, because there's a lot of things that I have to get used to giving up. Um, it shouldn't be any, it shouldn't be real hard, because I don't eat red meat as, as it is, really. Um, not really a big pork eater. Um, I don't eat, re I don't really eat fish because it's kind of expensive, so, um, those are three easy things to give up. Um, chicken's going to be tough because I do love chicken. Um, but I watched, uh, two documentaries yesterday, and I'm actually watching one right now. The two that I watched yesterday, well, and today, because the second one I tried to watch, I gave up on, and then I fell asleep during, and then I finally watched the, all of it today. Um, I watched Get, Ve Get Vegeta- Ve oh my god. Get Veducated, um, on Netflix. Um, and then I watched, at the, uh, recommendation of my friend Rhiannon, um, who has been a vegan for two and a half years, um, Forks Over Knives. And I finally watched all of it today. And uh, some really interesting facts in there. Some really, really interesting facts. And now I'm watching Fat, Sick, or ne and Nearly Dead. Um, I'm about... Oh, how far into it am I? I actually paused it so I could record this. I am 36 minutes and 25 seconds into it. Um, and uh, just learning all the health benefits and stuff like that of... Okay, good. I'm still recording. <laughs> my batteries are almost dead, I think, so I have to watch my what, what's going on. Um, just, you know, researching the health benefits and everything like that to being a vegetarian and, and going vegan. And um, But there's things that I'm going to have a hard time giving up, like my egg whites. I love egg whites. I think they're, they're just really good, especially when you put a little Cajun seasoning on them. And mm, um, My creamer for my coffee, my nectar of the gods. Um, I'm kind of a little, I'm a little bit upset because on the one website that I'm on, I actually um, posted about how I've become, I was becoming vegetarian and, and I eventually want to be vegan. Um, and they gave me this, re this really cool app. Well, they told me about this really cool app. Um, called vegan v g a n and it is you can browse and you can see every beer and when it has a little red leaf it means that it's not vegan friendly if it's got a yellow leaf like anheuser busch um it means that it has some vegan options and then if you if it's got a green leaf it means it is vegan friendly and you can do that with beer wine and liquor and I'm kind of upset because the two wine companies that I drink wine from are not vegan friendly so now I have to find new wine companies um, which is good th that I have this app because if I go to a liquor store say I want to buy wine I'll click go to wine and then I'll just look for whatever wine 
like that I'm looking at on the rack and be like, hmm, okay, like, let's see. Behringer is the one that I, one of the ones that I love, and if you see, it's got a red leaf, which means that it's not vegan friendly. So I go, okay, well, what about, uh, let's see. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, let's see. Where's a green one? All right, I can say, oh, look, this is Blackstone Winery. Let me see. Oh, look, there it is. It's got a green leaf. It means it's vegan friendly. So, let's see. Do they have barefoot in here? Oh, no, that sucks. They're not vegan friendly. That sucks. That's another, that's another wine that I like. Um, and then I have another one called Animal Free which when you're shopping it helps because you can look at the ingredients and this list there's a list for vegan ingredients and then animal ingredients so you can be like okay let's see Wait, that beta carotene is an animal food? Mm. wow Ew. um Apparently, beta carotene is an animal product. I did not know that. Um, but this is really cool for when I go grocery shopping to have. And then, where's the other one? Oh, Happy Cow Vegging Out. This one's called Happy Cow. And this will find any kind of vegetarian or vegan um, store or restaurant or anything like that. Um in the area that you're in. Um, when I first signed up, I had it scan the outside area up to, I think, 15 miles, not 20, 25 miles. So, um, it's pretty cool. I like these. Um, it help. It'll help me get with that. But um, yeah, so. I decided that I wanted to go vegan. Today was officially day one um, of I'm going to crawl before I walk, as my friend Rhiannon told me to, because you can't just jump right into vegan, because actual vegan means, you know, no animal-based um, makeup, hairspray, like everything that you have had, you can't really use. Um, you know, no leather, your clothing has to be vegan friendly, stuff like that. So that's going to take me a while. Um, so I figured I would be vegetarian first. And so t today is officially day one of me being vegetarian. Um, I actually kind of feel a lot better. Um, for lunch today, I had uh, a sandwich that had guacamole, um, low fat, low calorie mayo. Um, some Swiss cheese and tomato and lettuce. It was actually quite filling too. I was surprised. Um, and then for dinner I had two helpings of mashed potatoes because they made roast chicken. So um, I actually did make them a gravy from the chicken um, juices and stuff, which is really hard not to take because I love gravy. So, wish me luck. Um, I move into my new place next month sometime. I'm giving them the security deposit this week. So, I'm really excited. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping to really get healthy. Lose weight. Um... My girlfriend Rihanna, and she's just in the two and a half years that she's been vegan, she's lost 65 pounds. Amazing. I don't have to lose that much. I only want to lose about 20. But all she did was go vegan and she and work out a little bit, and she looks amazing. She really does. She looks fantastic. Um. So and she was telling me that. Her nails are growing better. She's got her eyelashes are so long since she's gone vegan. You know, um, her hair is down to her ass crack, as she called it last night. 
Um, so I'm looking really forward to all the healthy changes that I have coming in my life. So I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to go for now. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. Be well, my lovelies.